English Football League 2, Carlisle United 3, Accrington Stanley 2, Cheltenham Town 4, Yeovil Town 0, Chesterfield 1, Crew Alexandra 1, Crawley Town 2, Colchester United 1, Morecambe 1, Notts County 1, Port Vale 2, Coventry City 0, Wickham Wanderers 1, Newport County 1. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Swindon Town with 70 points. In second, Cheltenham Town with 55 points. In third, Notts County with 47 points. In fourth, climbing the table are Barnet with 45 points. In fifth, moving down are Colchester United with 45 points. In sixth and falling are Wickham Wanderers with 44 points. In seventh, rising up the table are Mansfield Town with 38 points. In eighth, climbing the table are Carlisle United with 38 points. Bottom of the table, Stevenage with 16 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Newport County with 16 points. Third bottom, moving down, are Accrington Stanley with 18 points. Fourth bottom, rising up the table, are Port Vale with 20 points. Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. Welcome to you all to this always intriguing game, but it might have another element to it today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith, I'll pose that question to you. What about the snow? Yes, it's, it's coming down quite heavily at the moment. I'm not sure whether that's going to continue, but it can be a problem for the players actually to see the ball. The old orange ball might be out before long. In our match today, Swindon Town against Notts County. Number two, Ben Perkins. Number three, Chris Hussey. Number six... Well, all the attention on the uh, away side here because... What a, a shock they brought to everybody at their full potential. I don't know if they can get any better than this, whether they can sustain it. I certainly wasn't expecting to see this team in a promotion position past the halfway mark now. It's been a really good effort from them. So this is how the hosts line up today. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks... It's quite a complicated job, actually, because they've got to come inside, support the centre-forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. This is the line-up for the away side. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but... Uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Ross Joyce is the referee for this one. What's this game going to bring us? We'll find out very shortly now, won't we? Because the game is underway. <laughs> Promising build-up until that challenge. In with a chance. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. He can't have scored many better than this. 
with the bend he's imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Swindon Town goal, number nine, Edwards. Norris. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Penalty at Wickham. It's a penalty for Wickham Wanderers. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps up to take it. Great strike, keeper the wrong way. Great goal. Six minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. This looks promising. The shot's up. He's blocked the shot well. Well, that will mean a corner coming up now. Just wondering about the effect of the snow into the players' eyes and seeing uh, as clearly as they would do if there was no snow. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? If uh, it impairs vision and uh, if it gathers on the ball as well, of course, that's when the ref has to have a look at it. Decided that this time they're going to play the short corner. That shot's blocked very quickly. And shoots! Very nearly a goal, it's hit the bar and it's back in play. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Norris. Going for goal! Here's a chance! Oh, it's off the frame of the goal again, no luck here. Every manager wants his team to be ruthless, and that was such an opportunity. No wonder he's unhappy at that miss. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Goalkeeper able. to make the save it's almost an area of complacency amongst these fans here today I hope it doesn't get to their players because they might fall on their faces but they did win the away game very easily so they'll be expecting to make it a double here yeah it was men against boys wasn't it in that reverse fixture I really can't see it being the same here you know County not stopped by the whistle because it's their ball and they can play on with the advantage rule. Here's a goal from Cheltenham. It's a goal for Cheltenham Town. 21 minutes played, 1 0. Right. Keeper pushes it away from the goal. He's aiming for the front post, and that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. And that header takes the ball out of play. <laughs> Uh, one change and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit that's good movement forward here to Robertson Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Preston. Here's Dunn. Clever feet there to go inside his man. Right, it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. No doubt that's a corner. Alan, your view on the attempt at goal? Well, I think the crossbar's still shaking after that drive from close range.
corner played in. Headed back across goal. Free kick given. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. But they could pose some danger now. Had a go! And it's in! That is one of those special moments you don't often see. A glorious goal. A strike of awesome power from an awesome player. Well, I think if you ask the player afterwards, he'll say he has never struck a sweeter ball than that. That is what the fans love to see. A goal hit like that. Restarting at 2-0. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Well, that's an absolutely stunning strike. I cannot believe he took that on, Martin. It, it stunned me and it certainly stunned the keeper. Well, they'll be showing that over and over again. He's put all his bulk behind this one. Didn't he just? He's a long way out, but the keeper had absolutely no chance from the moment he hit it. You can see he knew it was going in. And here is another angle on that goal. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Number 13, Lewis Alessandra. Stead. What's coming here from Notts County? They've got attack on their mind. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. It's a terrible place to give the ball away. The ball to Duck. Norris. Taking on the defenders. To finish it off. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call. Alan, I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now. As it turns out, what a great call. He's given possession away here. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball. And shoots! Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Whoa, the crowd were up on their feet there. It's a spectacular effort. has indicated there will be a minimum of four minutes of added time. And he could get away here. It's opened up. Well, that's a fantastic goal. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is for a special player too. A player that uh, is the clinical sort and 
He's shown us that today. An amazing first half in this game. Have a look at that scoreline. Number 13, Lewis so there we are, half time. A brilliant first half from this fella. Everything that fell his way, he took, and uh, he'll be after more. What a hat trick! coach might have said well if they can do that in one half you can do it in the other half but it's going to take a lot of character for the losing side to fight back I think that hit the post Alan I think he did just clipped it so unlucky Now, this looks promising. Well, he's had a go, and what a goal! Wow, it's not often you see somebody find the back of the net from that distance. That is stunning. Well, he defied the odds by taking the shot on, let alone scoring the goal. It's a golden day for him. It's another great goal. Well, it's a wonderful finish from a player who's been in wonderful form today. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Number 13, Lewis Alessandro. Room now out of the wing. Comes out of the goalkeeper. Goal news from Cheltenham. It's a third goal for Cheltenham Town. 52 minutes played. Shots on here. And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Now it's a corner. to score it's a well-worked corner it's a well-worked goal it's all about the delivery that uh, led to this goal right on the spot that corner was a goal here to savor oh really good corner that flighted in and just begging to be attacked well they want to see this again this goal One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. We're going across to Alan McAnally now, who's got a penalty in the game he's watching. It's a penalty for True Alexandra. Well, he tried his luck from a long way out, but the goalkeeper had no problems at all. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. A switch here for them. In fact, it's going to be a double switch. Two substitutes coming on. Tried his luck from a long way out with the goalkeeper. Very comfortable in dealing with it. Goal news from Exeter. It's a third goal for Barnett. 61 minutes played, 3-0. Cheers, Alan. To Robertson. 
There's some and he's tried his shot from long range. Headed down to a teammate. Saved by the keeper. Neatly intercepted. Goal nears from Carlisle. It's a third goal for Coventry City. And the goalkeeper got across to it. Great work by the goalkeeper. Great hands. Here's the shot. Somehow he saved it. Looking to take the corner quickly. He did see it all the way, Alan, but it's still a good save. The ball did move in the air a touch, so he had to keep his concentration. the ball in a bad area now the shot oh it's in there they scored from the restart always disappointing to concede a goal from the corner and they just didn't get set for me what a great goal that was alan well one of those goals that looks like has been practiced on the training ground several times One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily. Heck, very comfortable for the keeper. Throw in here. shot off now and he's put it in for the goal well if you look back through the archives you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances and it is a knack well it was only a semblance of an opportunity really but he's turned it into a great goal with the first time strike I don't think he had a chance you know to take a, another touch he would have been crowded out, so what a decision. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Number eight, James Dunn. Back it goes to the keeper. Goal news from Crawley. It's a goal for Crawley Town. 77 minutes, please. 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. Comfortable stop. Goalkeeper not troubled. We'll go back to the goalkeeper here. Can't blame him for that. So we'll restart with a throw-in. We are going to see a substitution now. This team really on top of their game and they've got themselves to be top of the league. by playing like this yeah they have I mean they've got some top players haven't they let's face it and they've shown that out there today they've uh, really played some good football and he gives it back to it goal news from Carlisle it's a second goal for Carlisle United seven minutes remain 3-2 thanks Alan praise for trying the shot Alan well, his teammates aren't too happy 
Well, the crowd applauding as he's been taken off the winger and his teammates applauding as well. That's the ultimate accolade, isn't it? Uh, he's had a very good game. Oh, he has. Uh, he had all the tricks in his locker, put in some really good crosses that the strikers were grateful for. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. He's blocked the shot well. It's bounced back off the bar. Nolan. Here's Grant. To Robertson. Here we'll see what they can manage from the corner. It was a very uh, good effort earlier, wasn't that, Alan? Here it is. Well, he's close enough in. He really should have scored from there. Oh, the board's gone up. Four added minutes. I don't know whether the players really appreciate what's going on here with this support. They're loving the situation, aren't they? Players still trying to make sure they don't have any late slips. Yeah, it's a party atmosphere up in the stands. They've got to make sure the players that it doesn't transfer down to the pitch because they've still got a job to do. Corner played into the middle. Oh, that's good defending. It's a corner again. Put the corner in the middle. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Into the attacking third. Simple save from an ambitious effort. And it's come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Yeah, one of those matches, Martin, where everything he touched turned to gold it was an impeccable performance Alan I don't think the opposition were really on their game at all but we shouldn't take anything away from the winners no I think when you look at the way they knocked the ball about they used the full width of the pitch it was a thoroughly entertaining performance promising build-up until